Dominic Soboslai, the Hungarian attacking midfielder that plays for RB Salzburg. So from his goals and his assists, to his extremely good dribbling, to his ferocious long shots, and most importantly, his creative spot. With that being said, guys, welcome back to your boys channel. Hopefully, you guys are doing very well. And this is why Dominic Soboslai is perfect for the Arsenal. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Bad Swarty and welcome back to your boy's channel. Happy Diwali to my guys to celebrate it. And yeah, if you hear fireworks, then my apologies. I can't stop it, can I? But yeah, with that being said, guys, as always, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go down there, subscribe to the channel, and smash a like on the video as well. Get in the comments and let me know your personal thoughts on Dominic Sobosly and would you take him at the mighty Arsenal. But with that being said, guys, let's get into the investigations, the talking, the transfer scouting of Dominic Sobosly and why he is perfect for the Arsenal. The first reason that I want to discuss is this guy is a risk taker. I said risk taking, yes, something that Arsenal currently do not have in this squad from anyone. For me right now, when we get the ball, we're just way too predictable. Everything is way too structured and too many players are too willing to play it safe. And I'm looking at you, Granite Jacka. I'm looking at you, Willian. Yeah, you man here, I'm talking to you, my guys. And so with us being so passive on the ball, I want to see more risk taking. Players that get the ball and make things happen. Yes, it might not always work out, but at least they try. And if things work out, we're having some beautiful scenes. But if you look at the current Arsenal first team, right now we are way, way, way too predictable. And if me, Bavs for in, a nobody in the footballing game can predict what we're about to do, then just imagine how easy it is for these top elite managers. In our current Arsenal team, we need a player like Alexis Sanchez Baby. Because yes, he was an elite attacker, and yes, he'd get goals and assists, and yes, he was so, so clutch. And I miss him every day, even though he was a very low-key snake. But what Sanchez would offer to the Arsenal team was a player that was extremely good at taking risks and making things happen. He was a very, very high volume player. Yes, he would lose the ball countless amount of times in a game. But at the same time, when he takes a long shot and it goes top corner, upper echelons, I'm not crying. I'm celebrating because that's what I want to see. Whereas then if you look at the current Arsenal side, who is our Alexis Sanchez? Who is the Arsenal current risk taker? Who's going to get that ball and make things happen? And that is exactly why Dominic Sobosly would be perfect for the Arsenal. Because Soboslai is what I call a risk-taking baller. Dominic Soboslai is a very high volume player, meaning he takes a lot of shots, gets a lot of passes and a lot of dribbles per game. Yes, that means sometimes he may lose the ball and that can be annoying, but just have a look at our guys in Manchester at United. Bruno Fernandes, yes, he loses the ball and yes, he's frustrating, but a guy gets goals, he gets assists and we all envy that. And that is something that we massively lack right now in the current Arsenal first team. How many times do I have to say it for you, Mikel? Let's sign a player who takes some risks. And I'm going to give you a prime example what I mean by risk. Dominic Soboslai obviously is a Hungarian player playing for Hungary in a game to take them to the Euros. And then in the 90th minute with a team level about to go to extra time, my man gets the ball, drives from the halfway line and takes a long shot 25 yards out, puts it bottom bins and sends his country to Euro 2021. Look at it my friends, watch it, that is risk taking at his finest. He got the ball, he drove with it, he tried to make something happen and took a long shot which was a risk and it might not have gone in, it might have just been a waste of opportunity. But instead he took the shot, the ball went into the net, and we love it, and that is what I want to see at the Arsenal. If I look at the current Arsenal team, I can't think of a single guy who has that clutch, you know, risk factoring nature in their playing ability. Yes, some of my guys are ballers, but they're too safe with it. These men are playing when a handbrake on, they're playing in gear one, and I've had enough of it. And that is one of the first reasons why I think Dominic Soboslai would be perfect for the current Arsenal first team. He's a risk taker, he's a high volume player, and he would give some clutch, clutch moments. Moving on to the second reason why, and that is goals from midfield. You know what goals are from midfield? No, we don't because we're Arsenal fans and we've not seen them for so, so long. Since the days of Aaron Ramsey getting 16 goals in a Premier League season, how long ago was that? Who else except for Aubameyang gets the goals for Arsenal? And because we know it's only Aubameyang, even other teams are going to know that. They all know if they can phase Aubameyang out of the game and mark him out of the way, no one's going to score and also going to have zero goal threat going forward. It quite literally is Aubameyang and Inshallah. And while yes, sometimes God may listen to our prayers but it is not gonna work every time and this over-reliance on Aubameyang needs to stop. But even from the midfield, if you were to add every single midfield goal Arsenal scored last year, you can't even make up 10. And that's where once again my guy Dominic Soboslai comes in in full effect. Because Dominic Soboslai last season got 13 goals in all competitions. I can already see the comments typing away but Bavs, this guy plays in the Austrian league. Well then again my guys, this guy also has 4 goals 
goals in five games in the UEFA Champions League this season. Up against Bayern Munich, up against Atletico Madrid. Put some respect on his name. And Sobosai for me is now proving himself as a goal scoring midfielder. And when was the last time Arsenal had any of those? We're talking the days of Ara Ramsey and beyond. And once again, I'm going to use his Champions League stats for the guys that want to say the Austrian League is overrated. He has averaged 2.3 shots per game in the UEFA Champions League. Yo, my man, can you stop with the fireworks, please? I'm trying to film. And so if you are to add him to the current Arsenal team with Aubameyang goals and Pepe's potentially, and maybe even Lacazette or whoever strike is, we're going to get goals and ultimately, win more games of football. Cast your eyes back to the days of Wilshere, Ramsey, Cazorla, Ozil, Sanchez in their prime. Yes, sometimes in the biggest games, them man will go hiding. But in terms of games against teams that you should be beating, like your Leicesters, like your Aston Villas, these guys were there to be shown and causing havoc. But yeah, guys, get in the comments and let me know, are there any other goal-scoring midfielders that Arsenal should look to sign? Moving on to the third thing, lads, and that is creativity. I have waited for long enough to mention this word. Every single game Arsenal lose, the first thing we say creativity creativity and even more creativity we do not have it he is more missing than Mesut Ozil has been this season and talking about Mesut Ozil he is our best creator but Mikel Arteta is not going to play him he's not on the Arsenal squad so let's move on my guys it's not going to happen wake up from this dream and the saddest thing is probably our most creative player so far this season has probably been David Luiz yes our centre back David Luiz and so need I say any more we need creativity we need a player who can consistently create chances for our strikers and that's where once again comes in my player my guy Dominic so it's lie he has averaged three key passes per game so far this season not in the Austrian league but in the UEFA Champions League and in terms of last season this guy had 18 assists in all competitions you see the fireworks outside right now that is what we're gonna have with Sobosly in our current Arsenal team okay can you man stop now please I'm trying to film let me film please But yeah, as I said, happy Diwali and bandit your to anyone that is celebrating it. But yeah, if you were to add 18 assists to 13 goals last season, this guy is clearly a goal threat. Makes goals, scores goals. Another reason why Arsenal need to sign Dominic Sobosly. But talking about creativity, another player that a lot of Arsenal fans would love at Arsenal is Hussein Mawal. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Who would you want to sign? Hussein Mawal or Dominic Sobosly? Let's have a debate in the comments below. Moving on to the fourth and final thing, lads, and that is a central attacking option. You know what I mean, Arsenal fans? No, you don't because we're not used to it anymore attacking down the middle it used to be our forte our main strength but nowadays it's all on the left hand side or sometimes even on the right hand side and it is way too predictable and i'll go back to that one more time and that is another reason why arteta was so intent on signing a kevin de bruyne in the previous transfer window it's because he wants a guy that can orchestrate the attack down the middle and so with arteta wanting a central operator that can construct the attacks down the middle here's my guy one more time dominic sub slide averaging 40 passes per game 3.3 crosses per game and 1.7 long balls all in the UEFA Champions League and so if you had to add that to his goals and his assists he's got the numbers there the statistics to back him up and then if you factor that in with his release clause as well of just 24 million pounds that can be paid in installments Arsenal what are you doing this guy could be a bargain he's also still only 20 years of age he's still so so young and he's got so much time to get even better but the key thing for me is if Arsenal are to sign him now he would have an instant impact and instantly improve the current Arsenal first team. The potential is high, the creativity is there, he can get goals and assists and he's only 24 million euros Arsenal. This is why I think Dominic Sobosly is perfecto mundo for the Arsenal. But with that being said guys, get in the comments and let me know your thoughts on Dominic Sobosly and would you take him at the mighty Arsenal? Is it the answer to our creative issues? But with that being said guys, I'm going to end it there and then if you have of course enjoyed the video, go down there, drop it a like and also do subscribe to the channel if you are new i've said it many times before we're closing into 30 000 subscribers so it'd be massively appreciated get in the comments and let me know other players you want me to discuss and give you transfer reports on follow all my social media and subscribe to my group channel the offsiders the links are in the description below but with that being said guys let's end the dominic sobers live propaganda here and here in the latest episode of let's call it transfer reports we've discussed why exactly dominic sobers live will be perfect for the arsenal and why i think Arsenal should be looking to sign him in the general transfer window Lads, I will see you very soon with some new content in a bit.